events or his uh, anniversary meetings, but I had the day off today for Monday. And there's this place in Westfield that I've always seen that I want to go. I uh, always thought it'd be a good place to street preach. To be honest, that there's not ever a lot of people there, but the, the area looks like a really neat place because cars go around this kind of rotary thing all the time. I thought it'd be a good place to put up a banner and we'll see if there's any people out there today. So we're going to try to uh, go out there and do a little street preaching or hang on some tracks, just see, uh, see what we can see. So we'll see how it goes. It actually looks a little more busy out here than it normally does, so that's a good thing. Wait to get to the uh, room. This is it, but typically there's not a lot of people here. But a couple days ago, there was a guy playing guitar right there on that pavilion, so maybe, uh, maybe we'll just set up right there and see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, there's good news today. The Bible says that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Folks, you can have eternal life today. The Bible says that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. It's funny because we got all the same normal reactions here in Westfield as we do in Hartford, Connecticut or anywhere else we go street preaching. The, um, you'll be preaching on Jesus Christ can save you from your sins. He came into the world to save sinners and God loved you enough to send his son to die for you. And then we had a guy walk by and said, you know, you ought to try to reach them in love and not in fear. And it's funny because I didn't say anything about, you know, God's condemnation or judgment at that point when he was listening. But I told him, I said, you know, hell's a fearful place. I hadn't even been preaching on that. But, uh, you know, there is some people you have to say with fear, what the Jude says. And, you know, he just didn't like the message, of course. And then uh, another, another young woman drove by in the car and screamed out the window, I had an abortion. And... First of all, she wasn't there long enough to even hear what we were preaching. She just saw the banner, saw the signs, and nothing on there said anything about abortion or anything like that. But of course, that's what she's convicted in her heart about. Now God can forgive her of that, and God will forgive you of any sin if you'll come to Him in repentant heart and trusting Jesus Christ. But um, you can tell that's what they're convicted about, and that's how they react. That uh, the Holy Spirit's convicting them of sin, and they're being convicted in their own conscience about their sin. So. Um, it was a good time. Most of the preaching was done to people with uh, cars who had their windows open. Um, and But we were out there for about an hour and we had a good time preaching. Um, handed out a few tracks and uh, it was a blessing. I always wanted to do that. So, hoping to do it again sometime.